Welcome back to Good Day Stateline. Your kids probably love the Pinkalicious books, but there's a new series available from the same great author, Victoria Khan. Hi, Victoria. Hello, how are you? I'm good. I'm not as good as you. You're like surrounded by the Pinkalicious world. I'm just here in the boring studio. <laughs> This is my studio where I where I do all my work and I come up with my ideas and um, it's it's my place where I go and and be as creative as possible. I love that so much. So before we get to the new book series, tell me a little bit just about how the Pinkalicious World came to be. Well, it started when my daughter was three years old and she really loved the color pink. She still does, and cupcakes. She still loves cupcakes too, as a matter of fact. And um, it was April Fool's Day, which is my favorite day of the year because you get to tell stories and, and do pranks. It's really about making up stories. And I told my family and friends in an email that my daughter had turned pink from eating too many cupcakes <laughs> and had pinkatitis. And I sent it to everybody. And one of my friends who was supposed to come over that day with her daughter for a play date said, I'm not coming over. I don't know what pinkatitis is, she believed me. And the pediatrician says it could be contagious because I immediately called my pediatrician. And, um, and when I said, you know, it was an April Fool's Day joke, she said, you are kidding. Uh, you've got to make that into a children's story. And so that's, that's how it all began. That's so funny. You know, sometimes it is fun to prank people. I tell my nephews that their dad's nose got so big because he told a bunch of lies when he was a kid, so they shouldn't do that. So I'm with you on the pranking and the telling stories. Uh, but we love the fact that that story turned into such a huge world for Pinkalicious. You got books, musicals, TV shows. How did you, like, get that all to happen? Do you even believe how big the world became? Uh, no, no, it's it's really, you know, the, the best, one of the best days was just when I found out that Pinkalicious was going to be published. Mm -hmm. They published to begin with 6,000 copies. Um, now there have been millions of copies sold. I have over 70 books. It's, it's really been very, very humbling uh, for me because uh, I just find it to be an incredible privilege to be able to write and illustrate books. So I'm very grateful and thankful to all of you, the, the readers. So, uh, you know, thank you. So we had Pinkalicious, then we had Purplelicious, then we had Aqualicious, and now you're gonna tell me today all about Rubylicious, which is brand new. Um, yeah, so this is this is Rubylicious, and it's a the character in the story is named Ruby, and it's she's very very fearful. She has a lot of anxiety. She's very very nervous, and she comes to grant one wish to Pinkalicious and Peter. But every time they suggest a wish, she tells them why their wish is really bad. She's too nervous to grant the wish, and um, in the end, Peter and Pinkalicious decide to make a wish for Ruby that she wouldn't be so fearful anymore, that she would be able to think clearly and problem solve. And um, their kindness is transformative. Uh, in life, when you when you are kind, it does transform everything around you. So that's the, that's the message and it's a really, really fun story. And it's uh, hopefully very, very colorful. And there are a lot of teachable moments for for you when you sit and you read it with your your child. I think that's so true. A lot of parents and aunts and uncles and grandparents, you know, sometimes they have trouble talking about the hard stuff, right? So it's awesome that you made such a fun book that's actually about somebody kind of being anxious and nervous and afraid um, instead of a teacher or a parent having to figure out what to say. You already said it. <laughs> so that's awesome. Right, right. And when you read the story to your child, you say, you know, I wonder what you would do. How would you handle this situation? And it's it's so inspiring to hear what kids have to say. And then you have the opportunity to say, well, what about this? What about that? Yeah. So it's a, it's a really fun experience with parents and awesome. caregivers awesome. and teachers. Well, I am so glad that you are continuing to add to the licious world, which I guess is what you have to call it now. Uh, thank you so much for spending some time with us today. Thank you. I hope you have a ruby-tastic day. <laughs> it was very ruby-tastic. We're so thankful that all of you chose to spend some time with us uh, tonight on Thanksgiving. And we're thankful for a ton of other things, too. Take a look. We'll be right back.